and TTS will load now. No, there we go. Now, I'm so close. Uh, welcome. My name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling Le Havre. Joining me are Lily. Lily, if you said something, I didn't hear it. Oh, sorry. Howdy. <laughs> uh, Mike. Hi. And Fugless. Hello. And Fugless is going to give us a teach. So go ahead yep. and take it away. All right. So I don't know what the theme behind this game is. I assume we're all like Harbor Masters. We're, we're trading beige. We went over this. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, we're, um, but, but you are kind of building your own little city tableau. Um, it's not really worker placement. There, there is, you do have one worker next to your board. I thought you said um, this is an Uwe Rosenberg game. <laughs> um, so kind of, as I just kind of said before stream, this is a game where you, you'll find yourself overwhelmed with resources probably at least one time during the game. So it's, it's how you maximize those resources is uh, kind of going to be your key to success. As you see, there are a bunch of different resources down here, fish, wood, clay, iron, grain, cattle. And then there's two up here that don't get put down here, coal and hides. And we'll kind of explain what these do. Every resource has a basic and an advanced side. Um, and it kind of gives you this little player board right in front of your, your name. And it kind of puts the basics on top. And the advanced are just the flip side of them. Um, so it, it might be a little tough to rem remember how much stuff you have. So you'll just kind of need to like hover over it and try to remember how much stuff you actually have. Um, OK. <laughs> Turns are very simple in this game. You're going to put your boat on the closest to the left harbor. And the very first, these are randomized things right here. And just for the sake of argument, I'm just going to flip over Lily's because she's going to do this on her first turn. So it's not really a spoiler. Because um, yes. after the first after the first round, this, these will all be flipped. So it's not like they get rearranged. It's just once they're, it's just a mystery for the first round. So she's going to go here where she's going to flip this. And this tells you what to add to the harbor. So we add a coin and we add an iron. So once she does that, she has two options on her turn. She can, um, that's funny. Okay. She can choose one of the harbor docks to take all the resources from. So she could take, there's two iron. There's one grain, et cetera. So she could take all of the resources from one of these locations. Or she can use her worker to activate any building either that the town owns, which is these buildings right here, or that she owns, which will be buildings in front of her, or any player owns. So you can use other players' buildings. There is a cost, however, to do that. So. The cost to use a building, if, it, if it's your own building, there's never a cost for you. The cost to use someone else's building is always in the upper right corner. So like this building's free, this building's free. This building costs one pot. Pot is always food. Food items are fish, because you can see the pot underneath it. Pot fish. And then upgraded versions of grain is bread, and upgraded versions of cattle is meat. So those are the food items. You can always substitute coins for food, though. So if you want to use this building and it requires one food, you could just pay a coin. Um, if it ever says requires a coin, you must pay the coin, obviously. Um, OK, so on your turn, again, you're taking any of those items or you're using a building. You're not doing both. As a free action on your turn, you can spend any number of your coins to purchase a building. So for instance, I could on my turn, if I had uh four coins which you do on turn one you could just say you know what i'm gonna buy this building for four coins as a free building free action now there's reasons you may not see that in your first play why you want to do things like this but there is as you play the game or there's more reasons why you want to buy buildings because coins are points so at the end of the game it's just going to whoever has the most money is going to win so basically you're just essentially doing nothing really you're just turning four coins into as you see all these buildings are worth coin points so this building's worth four points in the game yet you're buying it so the reason for doing that though is a couple of things one this hammer symbol activates on certain other buildings 
and this building type, like each building kind of has a type, kind of activates on other buildings too. So that's why you might want to have a building in your own Tableau instead. You can buy any building that's owned by the town, or you can buy any of the buildings that are face up up here. So as you see, these cards are kind of ordered randomly. They're not ordered randomly, but they're ordered by number at the top from low to high. So all the like kind of basic buildings come out first and then they get stronger as they go. You can always pay the cost, the coin cost to just buy it, or you can construct it using the resources at top. But to construct a building, you have to use your worker to go to one of these three buildings here that construct buildings. So this one allows you to build one building. And it says, choose the top card of one of the building proposals and then pay the resources. This building's free to use. This building costs one food to use. This building allows you to build two buildings if you want on your turn, which obviously is going to maximize your turn economy. The reason why you're like, well, why don't I always just use the first? In this game, if I have my worker here, then no one can go in this building as long as my worker's there. And I can literally just never move him if I'm never using another building and just stay here like forever. Um, odds are I won't, but um, unless I move out of there, and you can never activate the same building tw two times in a row. So if I want to do another build, I do have to move to a different building. So um, that's kind of workers. Um, the main element of this game, or the color, the is feeding your people. <laughs> uh, Rosenberg loves to feed his people. And this okay. game, this game, I'm going to warn you now, you need to consider a food engine because you will find yourself low on food a lot. The required, so we're playing a four player game. So it kind of tells you, and since we are playing a short game, you do start with some food. You start with two fish. So it may not be quite as hard early on. But in a four player game, so we're always playing this line right here. So that's what oh. you're going to be concentrated on. So it means at the end of this round, we will need one food. So everybody will have to pay one food. You can always pay a coin instead of food, but you'll just need one food. So a round ends once so once we get to this part. So basically, like in round one, Lily's going to go here. I'm going to go here. Then Garrick's going to go here. Then Mike's going to go here. Then Lily's going to go here. Oh. Me and then Garrick. And Garrick will end the round. So in, turn, in round one, Mike gets one turn. So... So this is this makes this game very interesting is in the fact that you don't always get the same number of turns every round. Okay. In round in the next round, this will get put up here. And the next round, player two starts, meaning I will start because I was the I was no no, I mean Michael start. I'm sorry. Michael start. So yeah, what? it tells sorry. Yeah, Michael start round two. It says the fourth player oh, starts. Fourth I'm sorry. Player. Okay. Yep. So he'll start next round because he was the last Garrick was the last one to take a turn. So, so and then that round, like I guess, Lily will probably only have one turn. Um, so that's kind of how turn works. So you kind of need to prepare, like, oh shit, I only have one turn this round, so I better get what I want to do done. Um, the other symbols you need to know on here are the harvest. So he also loves harvest, yeah, which is in basically all his games. So every round there, there's a harvest, which in a short game is probably every round. Um, I won't go, I won't peek, but just know if there's a harvest, it's, it just has that at the top. Pulls out three so cards. If, I won't peek. <laughs> 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 to harvest, if you have one grain, you get a free grain. So not one grain. If you have any number of grain, you get one bonus grain. Okay. If you have at least two cattle, then you get a free cattle. So it doesn't matter if you have 10 cattle, you just get one free cattle. But if you only have one cattle, obviously they don't mate, so you don't get any bonus cattle. Um, again, I want to stress to you that paying for food, grain, and cattle, no one eats raw cow. So you need to figure out a way to turn these into meat and these into bread, which I'll explain how to do that in a second. Okay, the other thing you need to know about these cards is once the round is over they go up here as ships ships and it's just like feast for odin since y'all played that ships will reduce the number of food cost that you have to pay every round but you do have to build a ship the only way to build a ship 
is if someone's built the wharf, which if you see are way down here. So it's going to be a while before we can build ships because you can only build a ship with a wharf. When you do build a ship, the, the food discount is right here. Four player game, every wooden ship is uh, two food free off or whatever. Two free, two food discount per round. You can always buy a ship if you want, but as you see, the cost to buy a ship is $14, but it's only worth two points. So you're basically, if you want to buy a ship to get that food discount, you're sacrificing 12 in game points to do so. Um, the cost to build a ship is up here, it's five wood. And you're going to see this light, this light bulb cost a lot on different things. That is energy. There are three, there are a couple of energy things, coal. So if you ever need to spend energy, you just spend the resource. Coal is three energy, as it shows on it. And if you turn wood into charcoal, charcoal is also three energy. If you turn coal into coke, not that kind of coke, it's 10 energy. So you could build a lot of ships in one turn if you wanted to. Um, okay, that's kind of the basics of ship. Eventually, you're going to build a shipping lane, which is way down here, and you're going to be able to use the shipping lane to basically sell goods on your ship. That's not going to happen for a while, so we don't need to stress about it too much. But to do that, each types of ship can carry a variety of different goods or quantity. The wooden ships can sell two ship two goods. Good prices are in the bottom right corner. So kind of the most expensive good is steel. Like if you eventually get to steel, it's eight each if you sell them. Um, Coke is five each. So and then kind of all the basics are just pennies. Um, you definitely do want to build ships, though. So I will say you're going to want to build ships. You're going to want to try to sell goods if you can. Um, all right, there are loans in this game. And the the really good players at this game do not care about loans that much, um, because they obviously you can, you can use them to increase your early game engine at the cost of some in game points, but you can pay them off. Um, to take a loan, you can only take a loan when you're trying to pay for food and do not have it. Meaning, food cost is one. You don't have any money and no food. If that is the case, then you take a loan. When you take a loan, you get four money, then you pay off whatever you need to pay off, and then you just have this loan next to you, and it's negative seven points in the game. To pay off a loan at any time, it's $5. The rub is one of these spots says the word interest on it, and whenever someone gets to that point, you have to pay it. Anyone with a loan has to pay $1. Um, and if you don't have any money, then you take another loan. So, so you can't take a loan to like buy a building. You can't say, I really want to buy the sawmill, but I only have $13, so I'm going to take a loan to pay the extra dollar. You can't do that. You can only take loans to pay for food or pay for loan or interest. There is a building. No, there's not. Okay, in a four-player game, there is not the loan office. So never mind. There is a building in a five-player game. I swear it was in a four-player game. Maybe not. Um, so yeah, the only way you're getting rid of loans is pay them back. Okay, um, I think that's about it, except for kind of what the buildings do. So let me give you, because there's not tons, so it's probably worth going over so you can kind of have an idea of what your strategy is. Um, so the fishery gets you fish. And again, you can use any sort of like, Lily builds the fishery, and you see it costs no money to use. So I could just say, you know what, I'm going to use her fishery. And I will take three fish plus one for every building that has the fisherman on it that you have. So these only trigger for buildings you have. Just keep that in mind, those symbols. So if Lily goes there, she would get four fish. If I went there, I'd only get three fish. Um, but again, if I go there, she can't go to her own fishery until I decide to leave. <laughs> I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, since during your turn you can do the move your person to a new building, does that mean you can't go to the same building twice in a row? Yes, correct. Thank you. Um, okay, so the fishery does that. The hardware store is very simple. It has two of those symbols, which is really nice because they trigger on stuff, and then you can get a wood, a brick. Brick is the 
advanced side of coal, or sorry, coal, clay, which is going to be used to build a lot of these advanced buildings, as you'll see. So you're going to need brick eventually. This is a good way to get early brick, is the hardware store. Um, we don't need to go over yeah, we, we definitely don't need to go through all of these. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> I just want you to be like, I didn't know what that did. Oh, well, um, we, we fully expect to not know what things do. Okay, well, let's let me give you the top ones at least, because the marketplace is really good. The marketplace allows you to take two different goods per that building symbol you have in your tableau. So meaning you could just take like an iron and a clay. It also says you can look at the special buildings. In this short game, there's no special building, so don't worry about that. And then finally, the joinery, you can sell your excess wood for money. So you could you have you can give up three wood tokens for seven dollars essentially. All right, that is pretty much the entire game. Um, the rest of it is just building interaction, um, and you'll kind of see those as they come out. Um, that's pretty much uh, it. So my I have one question. Um, mm -hmm. So I know we put down a iron and a Frank. Yep. Um, from this one, but why are there three fish when it says start two? Uh, that's in a long. That's in a normal game. In a short yeah. game, it, it we put out more stuff. That's I why there's see. no. That's why there's an iron here, and there wasn't supposed to be. Yes. We also in a normal game, you only start with one coal. That's it. But in a short game, you we start with two fish, one cattle, two coal, two wood, two clay, and two iron. We start with a shit ton of stuff. Perfect. Let me verify that because that seems like a lot. Um, <laughs> Uh, at the start of the game, we get five money, two fish, two wood, two clay, two iron. Yep. yep. One cattle, two coal. Oh, and two hides, too. Hides are only good for selling, so they don't really do anything. Oh, let me tell you one more thing. Sometimes um, you're going to see this symbol right here. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be in the four. Obviously, this one's in the three player game, but it, sometimes they're going to be in the four player game. That means in that round, the town is going to take the lowest number building up top and build it. So, like, if that happened now, it would, they would just take the marketplace and just put it in their tableau, essentially. So now you cannot build. You cannot build any building that's they've already built. Makes so sense. you can't. You can't build the two woods. You'd have to buy it. You can buy it from them, but you just can't build it. That's all. All right, so Lily, we put out Lily's Frank and Iron. So, what would you like to do? I have so it's question. weird on turn one where you can actually build things. Can yeah. you feed people fish, just raw fish? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. It has the it has the pot symbol. It has on the it. one on it. Okay, got it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So in round one, you're. Cool. I mean, we've already have our food requirement, but it does increase. Um, I mean, we can get a just so you know. In round twelve, you're going to need eleven food. So it kind of so it's basically one one more around essentially. Um, so these cards are not hidden information; they're all right here. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Just as uh, oh, four player game. Yeah, so it tells you exactly how much food you need. <laughs> oh, there's not some harvests, and then every every round where you see that card symbol, um. That means they're going to build a town, and then this means what ship is getting put out. Wood ship, wood ship, wood ship, iron ship, etc. And that's the the point value of the ships. So yeah, okay. cool. Um. So what would you like to do? Turn one. I'm taking all the wood. All right. So then I will be next. I'll flip this over. So we put a wood and a clay. Oh, would you like to do any free actions with your money, like buy a building or anything? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I will. Wait, no, actually, yes. Sure. <laughs> Very indecisive. I'm going to buy the building. All right. Um, I will. I will use your building, and I'll spend two wood and build the marketplace. And I Ooh, don't have enough charcoal money. Charcoal kiln turns wood to charcoal. Yep, and it's free to use for anyone. And you can turn as much wood as you want. 
There is no limitation. Uh, a lot of things have limitations. Um, that's it. I can't spend my money because every building is more than five. So next up is, and I'll just control like your ship oh. to make it easier. Oh yeah. I don't even, not even sure we need the turn order thing, but yeah, I don't so know if we need that. Out. Okay. Yeah, here I'll just turn it off because it's kind of it's okay. more annoying than anything. Sounds good. Bidding, bidding. There you the go. Value of different goods: steel being eight, coke five, cattle three. You're talking about Crewmeister. Bug this. Are you looking at chat? That, that the, no. Um, um. So the bottom right, there's like a value for items. No. Um, he's... Yeah, you mentioned the value of items. You didn't mention why that was important. Uh, when you ship items on the shipping lane, mm. okay. that building allows you to, for every ship you have, sell some of your excess crap, and that's the value you'll get when you sell them. So cool, a cool. lot of stuff's worth nothing, but like steel, when you eventually make steel, they're worth eight each. So you can score a lot of points if you plan. Gotcha. So what would you like? To, is it? It's interesting. In a short game, there's so much more options at the start. Like if you're a long game, you start with one coal. So yeah. like your 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 options are very limited. You're just like taking wood or fish. So I guess it's not entirely clear to me the value of the tableau building yet, but uh, well, I mean it's turning resource, so really trading beige into points. Mm -hmm. No, let's do look at the marketplace real quick. Yeah. So it has plus one additional good, different good per house. Mm -hmm. So that's why I got this one because it's a house. Wait, what are you? Where are you pointing? Okay, I'm originally pointing here. This card. Oh, the, the marketplace card, not the abstract notion yeah. of a marketplace in a board game. No. Got it. No, no. The, uh, the actual <laughs> card that says marketplace. Yeah, um, a lot of cards bounce so off each other. It says plus one additional different good per house. Right. So I purchased this guy because it has that house symbol. Plus he has a hammer, and there's cards in here that give you bonuses for hammers. So she goes. To, so in other words, if she goes to our marketplace, she chooses three goods now because she has one of those house symbols. Now she has to pay me two food or a coin to, for her to, the ability to use it. Hmm. It's a little weird. Um, <laughs> It'll make more sense. Well, I'm mostly thinking about, like, I'm looking at the fish tree, and it's like... Well, how many fish icons are there actually going to be? And I see Smokehouse is the same color as Fishery, name-wise. Uh, and well, Fish Symbols, it. Hardware Store has one, Smoke has one, Shipping Lane has one. Uh, I don't think the Wharfs do. Nope. No. I don't. I think that's it. Yeah, that should be a... I, I wouldn't have minded if that was a um, thing on the yeah, bottom the, of these cards. Yeah, exactly. Agreed. But yes, the smokehouse definitely has a fishing symbol, and the shipping lane definitely does. And then the hardware store has hammer and the fish. Yeah. The business office also has a fish on it. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh it's yeah, all, you can you can. Just peek. all shifting all the cards. Oh, that's, that's yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, feel free to peek it. Sorry, I'm at, alting all the cards. <laughs> Now, there's more fishing lines than I... Uh, nope, I immediately don't see any more after saying yeah, that. there's not any more in the other two. <laughs> ah! This one line. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. All right, so if you peek at any cards and you have a question about one of them, they should all make pretty much sense. The main food generators are the bakehouse, the abattoir, and the smokehouse are the main... Food, um, food buildings. Building a building requires the resources on the top of them. I've mm -hmm. got okay. I'm starting to see how the game comes together. Mm -hmm. Now the beauty, you know, hopefully if you like it, we can try the long game sometime, which is a little more interesting because there are these unique. There's a stack of like forty unique buildings that come out mm. over the course of the game that are obviously add variability and they and 
yeah, they just do cool stuff. So. I. I have all the things. I don't need to acquire the things. I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, Buy the building. They can't afford any buildings. They I'm can build Build buildings. the building. Yeah. I mean, the sawmill are built for one less wood. Here's a question. I would have saved myself a wood. If you were to... Why. So I can activate, like, construction firm, right? Mm-hmm. If I were to do that, can I build a card and then build the next card in the same column? Yep. I know it's so annoying the way they like flip when they're like. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. I'm looking at Avatar right there's now. There's some weird snap points on this side of the board that make them be directional because I tried to turn my home tableau around and it was just like, no. Why would you even try that? <laughs> it's probably some weird grid things. I don't see snap points. Um, is it foolish to build the charcoal kiln and the abattoir at once? No. Because that's what I'm going to do. This is crazy. Like a short game is just crazy. You will owe you will owe two food to yep. do that because so, and you can eat. You can pay coins if you want, or you could just pay your stuff. He's got an avatar. He doesn't need no food. So I need to spend. But well, he will because he has to go there to do it. Two clay, a wood, an iron. Right. Yep. I'm reading this right. Yep. Uh, two dollars. No, they are not infinite, so we can't just delete them. Uh, you know, yep. the two dollars is oh, that's right. people need to pay to give to use that. That's right. So you'll but you will owe the two food to use the their building. Right. So you need to pay either your two fish or two coins or one and one. Let's pay the two fish. All right. All right. Garrick's people will go hungry. <laughs> well, they'll just take money. Just like I Peace still, Road and Viking. I still imagine these people are just eating the coins. Like, not like transferring to money. No, we're just going to nom on some coins. I mean, right, Mike, with we, Vikings, that's perfectly thematic. That's true. All right, Mike, we get, we, you added a fish and a clay. What would you like to do? All right. So first, uh, my home tableau, like my keep track of what I have, has only meat twice. Is that like a JPEG typo? Uh, no. Yeah, just, oh, weird. Works. Hold on. Oh, cool. Never mind. No, but it's flip. It's like auto flipping. There we go. You there gotta we go. You got to flip it on the spot because for some reason, if you take it off the spot and put it back there, it tries to flip. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I don't know. Something yeah, weird this, happens. Yeah, this is, yeah, just. There you go. There this mod is jank. It is. <laughs> it is a little weird. All right, cool. Just wanted to make sure that, like, picking green didn't do something to me. Um,. <laughs> Can I take the Frank offer? Like I can just yep. have yeah. four coins. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's that's points at the end of the game. Um, and can I buy the construction firm even though there's a worker there? Yep. And then subsequently use the same construction firm which I've purchased? No. The worker goes with it, I'm assuming. Uh yeah, let me double check that because that doesn't happen that often. Um And then if I did buy the construction firm, I'd get to use it for free. And everyone else would have to pay two food to me to use it. Yeah, that's how that works. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rachel. Criticize. Crewmeister says you do not empty the building, and I trust Crewmeister. Yeah. So, so he Garrick's Garrick's piece would stay on it. Yeah. Okay, but now you Garrick works for would... me. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to activate it until your next turn anyway, because you can oh. only do. Guessed One it is saying the other. worker leaves. Now we oh, have a... Man. Okay, now rules, rules. Do we have that artificial rules check? <laughs> um, I mean, it says right here, in addition to the supply and main actions, a player can buy one or more buildings at any time during his own turn. See rule clarifications page nine. Let's see what it says there. I guess I can't buy um, buildings during my turn. Rule clarifications. Buying is always an additional action requires money. Um, building takes a card and place it in front of her. Um, oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, uh, I mean, it probably says somewhere in here. Um, Maybe it's with the workers? Um, 
Oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, no, not there. Oh, it does say goods are limited, so I need to worry about that anymore. Um, it's not on this page. To the Google! Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, try to Google it while I'm looking here. Um, here's the building action. Most. Uh, da, 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 da. I oh, oh I found a thread where Grant Rodike is trashing people for not using the search function. <laughs> um, it does say you, and this is probably goes without saying, but you can't just go build, uh, go to a building and be like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to cock block everyone. You have I to think actually it's do it. Be on the next page. Okay. Um, this thread says that the worker stays. Okay. Nope. Right here. Pers I'll always person dis. Hey, there return. you go. <laughs> we found it. Wow, everyone's. You were right, so Justin. Many... Have confidence yeah, in yourself. You were right. There's so many back and forth on this one. I know. Okay. Even... Um, but just so you know, Mike, you can't do all that in one turn. You will have to. You can only either put out your worker or uh, take the money. But he could take the money and then buy this building and he just won't use his worker. Yes, I just want to make sure he knows he's not using his worker in the same turn. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I want to take Frank. Okay. Make this little pile of eight. And take then that. Take the, and evict Garrick. <laughs> and then that completes my turn or I can yep. continue buying stuff. No. Uh, you could continue buying stuff, but you only have a dollar. So that concludes your turn. Like you, if you had tons of money, you could buy more buildings. You can buy as many buildings as you want on your turn. Um, just you just can't do anything else because you took from here. If you take from here, then you can't put a worker anywhere. That's the only thing. Got it. So I can like interact with the board once, and then I can spend, spend, spend because exactly. economics yep. doesn't require logistics. Right. All right. So Garrick's up. We add a coin and a wood, and you're up, Garrick. Uh, oh, no, Lily. I'm sorry. Oh. Lily's up. But I wanted to be well, up. first. I want to point out this lovely section I'm reading of selling buildings, which I oh, I, I totally forgot that. Sorry. <laughs> yes, you can sell. You can sell, but it just doesn't happen that often. Because yeah, if you're desperate for money, you can sell buildings back to the town for half price. But I mean, in a game that's only going to be twelve rounds, it's, it's, it's probably so it's not going to happen. Me. It's like yeah. the bad version no, of a loan, basically. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go to the sawmill. Okay. So I will build one building requires wood for building for one fewer wood. Which I should so have done. Like an idea. Whole, two wood by this joinery. All right. Because it seems fun to have. Food glass. All right. Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting uh... idea, I guessed it. They said they've sold buildings just to get player discs off of them before. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, we're at five fish. I could feed for many, many rounds. Um, yeah, I haven't played it. I don't think I've ever played a short game, so this is so weird. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's... Don't worry, just... Meister. That is not the right place for that rule to be in the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a shit ton of fish. All right. Should definitely uh, not be under the notes section. You monster. Like this, I needed that. Then, <laughs> oh, look, well, there's another fish. You have you? one more fish. I mean, you just have you, to. You just you have to give up a coin. No, I. You can I, also I, use your abattoir and make some meat. I could, but why do that when I can take four meat and then just pay my people money? <laughs> yep, exactly. That's fair. That is. All right, so that is the end of the round. Everyone owes a food, so I'll pay. So just put a food or money back in the bank. I pay with a fish. Yep. And then we all did a harvest. So if you have any grain, which you don't start with one, so unless no one took one, so no one gets a grain, but Garrick, Garrick does get a, a cow. Gets a free cow. Is a joke and here. And then we then we put this up here. <laughs> and now Mike is first, then Lily. I'll try to put these what? in order like this. So we are now in round two, and we put another iron and another coin. What possible and... value is there in having these be secret round one and no other round? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's so silly. 
Alright, Mike took all the wood. Uh, then Lily will uh, go. Wood. Mike, did you want to say something or buy something or what's going on? Oh no, I was just going to clarify that I can't do anything because I'm poor now. Except yes. I, we are yeah, if you take from here you're and don't have money, your turn's done. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Like, why wouldn't flipping them just be part of setup? Flipping I'm what? Do something silly. These. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna sacrifice one wood for five coin. Immediately spend all six of them to buy this building firm. Nice. That it, man. Lily, Euro Queen, man. She's already doing all the cool combos. All right. Next up is me for one wood. And one cow. Um, yeah, I should use that. Ooh, I can use a sawmill now. Yeah, let's um, let's use this sawmill. I don't have any wood, so I use one less wood to build this fishery for just one clay. Solid, solid. Uh, next up is Garrick with a fish and a clay. Um, so I just get the one turn this game, huh? This round. Yeah, yep. but you're going first next round. Uh, what do the people need to eat this round? Oh, is it still just only one? one? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is not going to probably feel as pressure as a the long game because long game you literally start with nothing. Yeah. And like you have to f figure out how to start feeding. So I think this is not going to feel quite like the normal game but it's okay we're getting a feel for the basic yeah, engine yeah, of the yeah. game uh yeah, i think I i'll go ahead and just three hours activate my abattoir mm -hmm. uh and so that's going to convert any number of cattle into uh meat and hides right mm -hmm. one half i want half you hides round, yeah you round down so uh all right i will convert them all really oh. wow i mean i, I you want to keep two, two? You want to keep two? For oh, I guess that's true. They, they, you gotta let them have the babies. Oh, and that. Okay, so, dang it. Uh, so you'll get all uh, the boards do that apparently. They're all you'll janky. Get, you'll get two hides. Yeah, I was just thinking if I still like that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I. Just, uh, no, I don't. I don't like it at all. A whole twelve food, but he does not like it. I don't like it at all. It's being inefficient because I can just do it in the future. That's fair. Uh, but then why do anything? Um, What does wharf do exactly? That's oh, build ships. Oh, so now that wharf's out, let me explain how kind of part of it works. So wharf will build the wooden ships, but the modernization, no one can build iron ships and above iron or steel or luxury liners until someone puts a brick there. Gotcha. Weird. So basically, the first first person to build an iron ship is going to have to throw a brick there.
Hmm. No special buildings. Marketplace seems less useful than usual. Definitely. Because, yeah, you can kind of order them to come out the way you want, depending on what you're doing. So, yeah, it's definitely not as great. I think I'm still going to take it, though. Hmm. Uh, so I have take, to... Uh, pay me a coin or two food? You can have a coin. Yay. So you have two buildings here, so you yep. get to take four different goods. Yep. Four different basic goods, uh, including coal and hide, if you want to. That's the only way to get those, usually. Or one of the only ways. So let's take a fish. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a cattle. Let's take a coal. Where the coal? Top left. Ah, I see it. Thank you. And Interesting. Iron's always good because it only comes out once a round. Yeah, I was thinking between iron and uh, hides. So I'm probably going to take the iron because I otherwise can make hides, although that's also a reason to lean into These hides. It's like food reminder tokens, I think. Mm. Gotcha. I was curious. Hey, Johnny. Oh, no, he's back. Got a lot more Monster Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done, Garrick? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to use iron for? I mean, a lot of the good buildings require it. Do they? The luxury liners require it. Well, luxury liners are steel, actually. Well, that comes from iron. All right, that's so fine. I'll take the I'll take the iron. Okay. My turn's done. Uh, Mike puts a coin out and a wood. What would you like to do? He's all taking the all the fish. It's fair. Uh, he still has no money, so Lily, no one has a loan, so we don't have to pay interest. Yeah, loans probably won't happen in a short game. Uh, I, was, I was seriously debating it. <laughs> um, well, you can remember, you can only take a loan if you can't afford it. You have to pay everything you can, then... Yeah, but I'm, but I'm broke. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. <laughs> and no fish? Well, you have fish, so you, you'd have to oh, still pay your fish, yeah. Oh, no, I meant uh, just... Oh, like for other, I guess I, uh... Yeah, you can only take a loan if you can't pay for, you can't just take a loan to buy a building. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Bank only deals with desperate people. <laughs> Damn it! What is yeah, this, 2008? You eat, if you can't eat, <laughs> if you want to invest, nope. Um... I have a question though. Uh, uh -huh. While I'm thinking about this, are these randomized or are these the same seven in every game? These are the same seven, but it randomizes the order of them. Yeah, that's fair. I was just curious. Uh, yeah, no, it's the same. You gotta have that variability so your 2005 euro <laughs> fails different every game. All right, so it, it does with the special <laughs> building. It's not gonna fail. Right, I know. I'm just. Green. I'm just playfully poking fun. <laughs> uh fish and grain um i'm going to i had an idea and i already forgot it um i think i need the wood so i'll take the wood all right we are now done with round two so we all owe one food again i'll pay my a fish Yeah, I'll pay with a fish. Yeah, you don't want to pay coins. You don't have to. Um, this gets put up here. I oh, want to get that harvest. loan, obviously. Sorry. If everyone with a grain, take a grain. Everyone with a cattle, take a cow. Two cattle, take a cattle. And then we go up here. And then it'll be Garrick, Mike, Lily, 
and then I'll only get one turn. Garrick, iron, and coin. Did we pull the card aside already? Yes, this is the new one. Okay. So we have two food this round. And they will build the... Um, they're going to build a bakehouse if no one does. So the bakehouse and the hardware store are uh, equal in cost. So what makes them decide? Oh, it's this number at top. That's that's what they're looking for. Got the five. Yeah, each each building's numbered. So they okay, build the so lowest those... building. Okay, not, not the lowest cost building. Understood. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lowest number. Sorry. Understood. Why am I a dumb person? I don't know. <laughs> um. I don't have the resources for any of this shit. Uh, Lily hilariously has two build two of the buildings. Mm -hmm. Two of the build you have the two of the build buildings. It was it was it seemed like a great idea to me. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go ahead and take the six clay. Okay. Uh, next up is Mike with a wood and a clay. That money is tempting. Uh oh, he went to my fishery, which he owes me no money, and he gets three fish. All right, uh, Lily is up with a wood and a cow. Uh, yeah, let's uh. Yep. We. <laughs> I don't need this clay. Yeah, I was looking to see if I could build it out from under you and force you to pay hmm. me to use it, but no dice. Much better this way. Oh, the clay mound is a special building that can't be built. It can only be bought. Got it. Um, but she doesn't have too money, so. Damn it. Um, I want too money. I will go here, fish and clay. I'll take the, I'll take the iron. Let's have a crap ton of iron. I do figure out what to do with it later. Garrick. But you didn't want to buy the clay mound? Um, Get a whole I mean, six not, money. I know, you're right. I probably should. I mean, it's... Oh, it does. Yeah, people have to pay me. Sure, you're right. <laughs> hmm. I don't have any hammers, but yeah, I forget it. They have people have to pay, so it's good. Uh, tannery is exactly what it shows. It turns hides into leather. Plus, you get money. But you can only do four of them at once. So just so you know about the bakehouse, assuming you so to turn bread grain into bread, it will you can do as many as you want, but it costs you half an energy per grain you do round it mm -hmm. up. Uh, I'm going to. And you don't get any change. So like if you use coal, you just waste it essentially. Understood. Unless I do six grain. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate uh, Lily's building firm, giving mm -hmm. her $1 redo. And I'm going to build the tannery. Makes sense. For one wood. One wood, one wood. Oh, no, it needs a brick. Oh, it's a brick. No, why would you do this to me? <laughs> yeah, we're starting getting into the brick buildings now. Have you a dollar redo back? How do I get a brick? Uh, uh, we we're not gonna get a well. Hardware store. 
<laughs> you have to build the hardware store. That'll give you a brick. Uh, the town will can... build the hardware store at the end of uh, this one. This yeah, time, it's though. gonna it's gonna build it automatically, and you can get a brick next round. Brickworks, where you make brick, is not for a little while. Arg. Well, I screwed up my whole round. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's game's over. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh No loans yet Arcanum. Uh we're doing this short game which is apparently really nice. So nobody's even yeah. been like in a position to want to take a I loan. I want like, loans. Yeah. I want loans but I just <laughs> don't have the ability to take them yet. Yeah, I double checked on that rule because I was like, I think it's only if you can't pay for food, and it is, it is true. Yeah, the short game, like I said, in the normal game, you only start with one coal, and it only starts with two wood, two fish, and a clay. So, like, you're struggling potentially, especially in like a lower player count. Like in in two player, you'd be owing five food at the end of this round instead of two, but you have more turns, obviously. But still, it can start getting away from you if you're not careful. But since we started with all this food, it feels like Garrett could be cured for life. What's his eight cattle over there? What? Those aren't for eating. <laughs> <laughs> um... Arrgh. Everything's terrible. I'm just going to take the five bucks. Uh, it's never five bucks. Is, that's five points, essentially. Uh, but gives I, you the option. And there's no way I'm going to get a loan, though. Uh, you need a loan? Dude, there's almost no way to get loans in this game because we were just flush with food to start the game. If he does normal... absolutely nothing, he can get two dollars. Um, I'll take the wood. All right. Mike goes here. No one has a loan, so there's no interest. Fish and wood. That's a good point. Didn't think about that, Crewmeister. So he went from the fishery to the build two buildings. And he's building the hardware store and the smokehouse for... Damn, you got five wood. Yep, apparently you do. And two clients. Seven wood. Actually. Seven wood. Damn. Yeah. Nice move. Nice move. I wanted to build that hardware store, but... So now the town is going to build the wharf. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so uh, will the town put the brick there, or can we pay to modernize the wharf, even though no, we don't own it? You can you can still build wooden ships, but to build an iron ship, whoever builds the first iron ship has to put a brick there. If that makes sense. The town will not modernize it. Does the other wharf also require a brick, or is it just the yeah. first wharf that nope. gets upgraded at all? Nope. Either Either one. Uh, Lily, I put out this stuff. What do you want to do? Uh, panic? Panic an option? <laughs> um. Oh, now when he goes to my fishery, he gets five fish. My, my, fish, my fish engine is basically Mike's fish engine. <laughs> <laughs> I will just keep playing and I'll go to the bakehouse and okay. do I want to I don't know what I want to do no keep it simple take the money, money. <laughs> all right so at the end of this round we all owe two food I'll pay two fish so everybody pay your two food either in money <laughs> or food items oh wait no right I've got money yep oh so... 
Um, and then the town will build this wharf. And that's it. Oh. I was about to say, was there a harvest, harvest as well? Yeah. Yep. Sorry. So grain people get a grain, Garrick get a cow, and then that's it. Uh, <laughs> Not even cattle out. people, just Garrick. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's the cattle rancher over here, apparently. All right, so Lily, you only have one turn this round. We have mm -hmm. iron, and we have a coin. Um, I have four wood, which is not quite five wood for a ship. Um, we do have the clay mound, though. So yeah, let's um, let's use Lily's. Oh man, I have to pay you to use that one. Yep. Lame. Lame. All right, here's your fish tax. Thank you there for you the go. fish tax. Um, and I will build the brickworks for two wood, one clay, and one iron. Come make some bricks. And that's it. And then next up is Garrick with a wood and a clay. Um, we owe three food at the end of this round. Just heads up. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> no, anytime you could just... I have now 24 food. We're good. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be more than you think at the end of this game when, like, the last round you're needing 11. And it does, doesn't feel like it's much, but it is a lot. How do I read the brickworks? Uh, so the brickworks for every clay. Yeah. You can turn every clay into a brick and get half dollar for each one, so round it down. And then for every clay chit you do you have to pay half energy rounded up so in other words if you do eight clay you have to pay four energy why is this $4. game working in fractions so much <laughs> <laughs> it's silly no it's <laughs> a good I mean, question you, have tons of it. You, you literally could do all your bricks easily you just pay one coal do six bricks six coal clay into bricks and get a uh, $3. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, what does a wooden ship cost right now? Is they it... they all cost the same. They're five wood, and they cost three energy to build. So in other words, if you go to the wharf, um, you will owe five wood and three energy to yeah. build a wooden ship. Why is this going fractions? Wait, you, you, this building is one sixth of a. Thing. Oh, don't you friggin' no, tell I'm me that! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I can do the math. That would just be dumb. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go to your brickworks. Sweet, give me a fish or a money. Here, have my last dollar. Yay. <laughs> Uh, All right, so how many clay are you converting? Uh, so, let's see, I have six. They cost half per. Yep. So I spend one coal and that would do all six? Yep, and you'll get $3 too. Yeah, I like the sound of that. So you'll flip all of them. Yep. yep. And $3. And, yep. All right, next up is Mike. Who will get a wood and a cow? All right. <laughs> the house. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what? Kermeister typed the halves, like the halves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Right. I don't even know how to say that joke, but it's funny. Oh, wow. That's a lot of fish there. That is a lot of fish. It's five fish. It's the same as one trip to the fishery. Yeah. It's a lot of fish. All right. He did took the fish. He still only has a dollar, so he can't do anything. 
the lily, we put out a fish and a clay. What would you like to do? Is panic an option? <laughs> You're doing good. You're the you. No, no, my engine's <laughs> stalling right now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why, but I have like a the, the the way you were distant from the mic when you said "nah" it was really funny to me. It's like a thing for me. I find that funny. <laughs> like one of my favorite bits ever in a Tim and Eric sketch is just when they randomly have a different audio quality for one line in the middle of a sketch. It just cracks me <laughs> up every time. Um, It's like the whole sketch they have this like this nice up close form like you know normal voiceover and then for one line it's like and this is gabriel <laughs> i'll grab the clay all right i'll go here which is a wood and a coin um I need food. I already need ah, food. food's overrated. Uh, I will go. Where's my dude over here? Um, is it really a worker if it's a disc and not a meeple? <laughs> um, I can say go this, and, but I I'm go... literally doing a piece on the a thing where the cards are meeples. That's true. <laughs> Um, three fish, or do I get random shit? Um, I'll do the fish. So three fish. Not the most efficient. Is it not four fish? No, because oh yeah, you're right. It is four fish. Oh, okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> um, next up is Garrick with a wood and a another fish. Um. I mean, I may as well, right? I'll uh, go here, give, mm -hmm. give Lily a gold, and build myself a tannery. He did it. Woo. So one wood and one brick. He's in the he's in the hide business. All right. Um, next up is Mike with a fish and a grain. So does my smokehouse need six fish to make just one smoked fish? No. You can flip six fish to smoked fish. So you can only do six total. It's capping oh, how many times you can... Yeah, so you just need one energy to flip six up to six fish, and then you get a half coin for every fish you flipped. This is like a tongue to twister. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm absolutely doing that. Where's that worker? <laughs> Your worker is right next to you on the construction firm. I wish I could see green. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, right. I forgot you're colorblind. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, Mike. Uh, yeah, well, we could have made some adjustments. The first time Mike told us he was colorblind was when we were deep into a game of Imperial Spells and Steam. Which, it was like six hours oh into a god. game of gaming. <laughs> oh my god! And that's that guy. That game would be tough, right? That's it, we were just like, how was. did <laughs> <laughs> we were wondering why you didn't say something? How you were doing so fine? It was crazy. <laughs> so you're paying he one just, energy. Sorry. I guess he just wanted to give himself his own candy cap. <laughs> And three coins. Yeah, that I mean, of all the games, that one's probably one of the hardest. Because there is like just blobs of color everywhere. Everywhere. All right, that is the end of the round. So we all owe three food. So figure out how you're paying, either food uh, or money. I don't have enough. Uh oh, loan time. <laughs> so you're paying these two dollars. Yep. And then you're taking this loan. I did it, guys. And getting getting four dollars but then you owe that extra dollar you couldn't pay so you have three dollars left over i did it guys i got a loan <laughs> i'm not sure why you wanted one so bad. <laughs>
uh, iron ship, and then oh, there's no harvest this time. Sorry. Uh, then it'll be Lily first, then me, then Garrick, then Mike. This is round. Just heads up. This is round seven. No, sorry, round five of twelve. Uh, iron and a dollar. Lily. Yeah, I'm thinking. It's interesting. Um. I dislike everything. <laughs> OK, uh, I'm going to. Spend... Have a good night, Johnny. Oh, wait, I got to move. Oh. Well, I guess I will go here where there is no wood needed. Yep. One less wood. Calorie. Yep, the colory's good. You're gonna, dude, you get a thousand coke. Oh no, it's just one more. So if you have a hammer, you get one more. I think. Oh, it's not per? Um, let me see how that reads on the. Yeah, it's not. It's just you get one more. So That's if you have sad. any hammer, you just get one more. I mean, I'll that would be. That. Yeah, it's, that'd be a lot. But all right. I'd be um, so sad about it. <laughs> all right. So next up is me with a wood and a clay. I'm going to travel over to this hardware store, well, Lowe's. <laughs> I'll give you a fish as entry fee. Ah, uh, yes, the entry fee. When I, yeah, when I go into the Lowe's all the time, I just hand the guy a fish to the door. <laughs> um, I'll take a. One of each, so a wood, a brick, and an iron. Hey, Fugus, are you wood. still allowed in that Lowe's? Oh, no, not after, you know. After is. handing him a fish? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, if it was, you know, it was still alive. That was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, wood and a cattle. Garrick? Yeah. Um... I will just take the iron, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Mike gets a fish and a clay. And what would you like to do? He's taking the wood. Yeah, I'm taking nine here. of these woods, man. Oh, there's nine? Okay. There were nine, nine there? Wood. Yeah, oh I was God. I was gonna take it if he didn't. So wood and a coin, Lily. Um, oh God, there's oh so this is three food and they are going to build the wharf. They're gonna build another wharf at the end of this round. Okay, I think I'm going to go to market. Uh, am I gonna go to market? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to market and see how poorly this goes for me. Okay, Here, you owe me two food or a coin. Thank you. Coin. All right, and now you I can, can draw, take seven things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, six things. things. Yep. Six which things. is which is there's only one, two, three, four, five. There's only eight options, so you get everything but two things. I'll grab a coal because I feel like that's a good thing. I'll grab a clay. Grab some wood. Those three things. Mm -hmm. Grab a cow. Grab some fish. Um, is there anything else I want? Wood, or would it be clean? Or iron? Ah, oh, God. Hides mean nothing to me. Uh, uh, um, I think I'll go with iron. 
Okay. All right, I'm done. All right, I will move here. Wood and a fish. Uh, I yep. owe a dollar. I was about to say I owe a dollar. <laughs> um, I'm going to actually... Oh, damn, I forgot I owe two food to use that. Nah, that's too early. I will... Um... Oh, God, there's seven fish. Hell yeah, let's do that. All right. Um, and I won't buy any buildings. And then Garrick gets fish and a grain. It's so hard. It, like the TTS, this is one game where TTS is almost a limit because, like, when you play, you can see how many tokens are on things. It's a lot easier to, like, like oh, shit, there's a shit ton of wood. Like, here, it just looks like there's one wood. Yeah, there it's a little can. deceptive. Yeah. Um, so I want to activate the wharf, I think. Yep. And yeah. put a brick on it. Okay. Because oh, I have four iron, have nice. four iron and I can you spend have... the coal for a... Uh... Yeah, I'll, yep, just, I'll just pay you... two food. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so you get an iron ship. Nice. First one with a boat. I was going to, but I've... it would have cost me everything, so I didn't want to do it. Um, that is it. Um, so that's the end of the round. So we all owe three food, so pay your three food slash coinage. Uh, I'm provided by my one. boat, is that right? Yeah, you are. You, yep, you're provided by your boat. I so. need to take a loan. Hey, know. welcome to the club! <laughs> okay, so you get a loan, and you owe a dollar more, so you just take three, yep. Um, like I said, in the long game, like I've played, like I played this on, like, TTS Club, like normally I played with people I play with, and no one's Oh, uh, I see, game, I see I, what we are. I, I, no, 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 I mean, not you guys. I mean, before, I mean, before tonight, I mean, before tonight, like, I played with, like, people on TTS Club who would, like, yeah. just play this seriously, and, like, and they played with, Wait, like, you're saying we're not game. playing serious? <laughs> and they, I mean, they had, like, four loans early game, and I'm like, what are they doing? But they were, like, buying, like, every building, and then, like, by the end of the game, they crushed me because they had like, you know, their engine was way better. And yeah. So I'm just saying, like, yeah, in a long game, like loans aren't scary necessarily. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, we all paid our food. They're gonna build another wharf. So all the wharfs are up here now. Um, and then harvest time, get your grain and cattle. Um, and then this goes to a wood ship. And that is it. The turn order will be Mike, Lily, me, and Garrick. Mike gets a coin and an iron. And what would you like to do? Ooh, I'm going to build a wooden ship. You can do that. It'll cost you five wood and three energy, which can be wood or a coal. OK, how are you getting these wood costs? Where are they coming from? On the top oh, of the wooden the ship. ship. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So here's your wooden ship. It'll give you a discount of two food every round. All right. Uh, he still only has. He doesn't have enough money to buy anything. So, uh, next up is Lily with a wood and a clay. It for the cells too good using a, using a shipping line, do I move my worker to the ship, or is the shipping line that building? Okay, so yeah, let's talk about how the shipping line works now that it's kind of available. All right, so if you have ships, which not everyone does, but if you have at least one ship, you just move your worker to the shipping line, and then you can load up three energy per loaded ship, and loaded ship means any amount of goods you put on it. So if you're selling goods, you have to pay three per ship. And the wooden ships require two goods. So you could just like say, I'm going to sell this two iron. And then you'd go to the shipping lane, you'd pay three energy, and then you get $4 because you would sell this two iron to wherever, the bank or whatever. Make sense? Uh, yes. And, and, and now that we're... Eight, right? Steel, yeah, if you steal is eight per. Now now that we're kind of to the selling portion, let me tell you one more thing. At the very end of the game, we all get on your like kind of like last, not your last turn, but like say there's a bonus turn at the end of the game. Yeah, I got you. And even if, even if the shipping lane is occupied, we can all 
use it one time if you have ships. Um, Because otherwise, like if someone bought the shipping lane and like say like I just parked my guy here, then no one's shipping anything until I get off there. But at the end of the game, even if someone's on it, you know, you can do one ship action. Otherwise, it'd be annoying that someone just sat there the whole game. You can't like evergreen the shipping line. I mean, you can technically in Tiddly, but you can. People will get to use it one time. <laughs> Evergreen it, yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, Lily, I put out your thing. So, yeah, it's your Yeah, up. I'm still thinking. Uh, I'm going to take the grain. All right. Uh, I put out a wood and a cattle. There's five cattle here all of a sudden. Uh, um, Crewmeister has the comment, the amount of goods you can sell in the shipping line is determined by the amount and type of ships you have, just in case that yes. wasn't Yeah, clear. wooden ships can sell two per ship, iron ships three per ship, and steel ships four per ship, and then the luxury liners are just points. They don't sell, they, you don't sell anything. They're like cruise ships. Gotcha. They cost three steel. When they say like 30 points. two goods, is that just like total or is that type? two total of anything so okay you choose okay. obviously you're going to try to put the i mean the, the best two are steel and coke after that it's kind of like cattle's worth more than meat um and leather's four each so yeah i mean they kind of like i mean unless you're selling like coke steel or leather then you're not getting that much bang for your buck but still worth it because it's free points essentially because you resources in the game are worth nothing so you don't want to just hoard stuff um okay so what am i going to do well everything needs bricks now so i do have one brick um oh there's five clay here yeah let's um let's take this clay uh next up is garrick with a clay and a fish um yeah this short game is interesting because there's not much of a as much of a resource crunch for sure i'll go ahead and build the shipping line nice Mm So two wood and three bricks. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. All according to Keikaku. All right. Uh, one coin and one wood for Mike. Man, there's nine wood there again already. Jesus. There's a I lot of, a lot of gold over in yeah. that pile. <laughs> there's a lot of gold in that pile. So the business office lets you build, like, take any four random resources and turn them into steel? Yep, just one time, though. And then additionally, you can turn one random into one of those three things. Gotcha. So it's really good for people who perhaps invested heavily in fish and no longer have a way to get to anything? (laughs) Yeah, you can just... (laughs) You could you could go to an office and say, I have four fish. What can I get for it? And they're like, here's a steel girder. And you're like, okay, sweet. And that's what she did at Lowe's, right? Exactly. I, but I only got one fish. So I only got like, like a that's pole. Why you're, that's why they didn't like you there. Mm-hmm. It's like a lowercase I beam. <laughs> Take all this money. Oh, no, I'm not. That's only 10. Damn. Math is hard. Taking all that wood? Yep. That is a lot of wood. Seven wood? Eight wood? Uh, Lily, uh, Lily and Garrett go a dollar, so Garrett can't pay, so he gets another loan. What? <laughs> Why do you want so many loans? <laughs> Stop flipping, um, Jesus Christ. Uh, Lily paid her dollar, so we get a wood and a fish. Lily, what do you want to do? 
I knew what I wanted to do, but then I saw six fish in a pile. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Lily, just stick with your plan. Where's your disc? We are going to bake some bake bread. some bread. Nice. Yeah. I have nine or eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do eight. Okay. So it's gonna cost you four energy. Yeah, so it's one coal and a wood. And I get four coin. Yep. And a shit ton of bread. I, I like bread. This is my diet in real <laughs> life, so. Uh, <laughs> all right. All the time. Um, then it gets a fish and a grain. Um, I'm going to go to the brickworks. I have five clay. Uh, oh, well, I'll just do five clay. So I owe three energy for that. I don't know, Focus. Is it even worth it to do it inefficiently? No, it's not probably, but then I get $2. <laughs> I know there's so much better shit out here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I had one brick. Um, and I paid the coal already. Um, yeah, let me just take this money. Screw it. We want his money. All right. Um, we owe four food this time. You don't want to buy anything? Oh, I mean... I mean, you can hoard your money. That's fine. I just... That's you have 12. True. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. I always forget that. Like, you could just... Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we'll buy this ironworks. Yeah, I do have 12. You're right. That's, you're right. It is better. All right. Everyone owes four things. I owe four fish. Bread. All the bread. I don't have enough. I only have three. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, well, in my fairness, I got one turn this round. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but you used it poorly. Did I, though? I, I got the shipping line. He did. He did. People are going to want to use that. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, there's no harvest, so it's just another wooden ship. And Garrick will be first. So iron and a coin. Oh, that's Just... right. I do have a boat, Crewmeister. Uh... Oh, yeah. Shit. Which would have provided you with three. So you would uh, so remove that loan and you get one coin taken away from you. You had three coins to start? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was four. Okay, you're right. Yep, yep. I knew um, I was. I knew it was. Yeah, make sure, Mike, make sure you paid food correctly because you do have a ship. Thank you, yep. Crewmeister. I only threw in uh, one smoked fish. Okay. Um... So this is round seven of 12, just as a heads up. Oh, man. And Garrick, you're first. I put out the coin and the iron. Yeah. Um, what do I want to do? Uh, so just this bridge, uh, when you use the bridge, you can turn one, any amount of resources, I think, any more, any number of advanced resources for $1 and any number of basics for $1. So it's not super efficient, but if you're just flush with crap. I mean, if you have a ton of wood, you should definitely come to this joinery. Yeah, the joinery is way better. <laughs> three wood seven i mean one wood is five it, yeah it's like if you just have one wood it's still five points i mean we have to give you a food to use it but for five points seems like a great deal i know <laughs> um Oh my gosh, why aren't we using these cool looking boats? Cool. What? Whoa. I there's love this boat. There's cool looking boats in the in the bat in the box. Saving this. <laughs> They're a little oversized for the game. They're not that bad. Do you not want them? 
We can put them out. Oh, it's here, okay. Let's put them in here. I'm just weird. It's weird that they're in here, but they're not using them. It's strange. No, clearly you should use them to indicate if you have a boat. <laughs> it's true. Now you have. Yeah. They gave us the small boats because we're playing the short game. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, That's funny. Falling over. What is wrong with this mod? <laughs> <laughs> this boat will not stay still. <laughs> it's sinking. <laughs> ah, ship down. <laughs> Maybe that's easy. He's like, I can't get these to stand up, so we're not using them. Screw it. There's got to be some weird scripting or something. I don't know what else this would be. Um. Oh, capsize Havra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Erg Arg Der Arg How does the final shipping work? I was trying to skim through the, the rule book and find out. And I didn't so see like it. at the very end of the game, like so someone's hit here and it's the end of the game, we all get one shipping action, meaning we don't have to put our worker on the shipping lane. Um, I mean, it should be there somewhere like in the end of the game. Yeah, I didn't see um, it there. Um, so like all of our ships get to carry out whatever resources and sail into the sunset? Yep. Well, not all your resources, just it's you're still limited by the um Can my wooden ship elect to sell itself after delivery to destination? Uh no. <laughs> um I know this is a thing. Um Crewmice just pointing out that it's one action, not necessarily shipping. Oh. But that didn't entirely make sense because the section that looked like that would be that's referring to didn't didn't seem magic the way it was being described. Oh, final action. So yeah, it's not just shipping. You're right. Each player has exactly one more turn. So at the end of the last round, each player has one more turn. Uh, you cannot buy buildings and you cannot take resources, which I don't know why you would. Um, you can still pay off loans, and you can still sell buildings and ships. And then, starting with a start player, each player takes one more turn. Player disc may be moved to buildings which are already occupied. So yeah, so you could do. I mean, it's not going to matter. It's, it, in our game, it's probably going to be mostly shipping. Now, there's special buildings that like score more points. Like, um, like there's like there's like a fish restaurant that you could sell fish to. If that's, yeah, if that's not in this game. Important point. It says you cannot take a building that your disc is already on is the only re restriction there. So you just, Ooh. if you're going to ship, you can't be on shipping line. Oh, Lord. Okay. And that's why it was weird that I was like, is that really what it is? Because that seems like a weird So it's just one more action with the caveat that you have to move your disc if you're using your disc. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, because you might want to build a ship too, because these luxury liners are worth a bunch of points. So, I mean, that might come into instead of shipping stuff, you might just build a 30 point luxury liner. There are like 34 points. There are 30 points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there's two of them. There's one in round 11. Oh, gotcha. 34. I see. There's three steel, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, goodness gracious. Um, God, the way things auto flip on this player board is so annoying. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's probably intuitive if you. Do you have smoked fish or normal fish? Oh, I have normal fish. 
Yeah, you got to be like, just if you like take things off, it just have a good night, Cooper Rage. I don't know. It's just weird. You just got to be careful. You have 10 cows. Yeah. It's about to 15, right? Yeah. If you get an extra 50%. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take the cattle. Oh my god. I wanted to wait and give it the extra one because I hate taking an odd number, but if I leave it, I feel like someone's going to take it. All right, so Mike's up next with a wood. There's two wood and a clay. There's four clay. Yes. I'm gonna take five clay. And you owe me a food or a coin. Five, one coin. Yay. All right. Uh, next up is Lily, which will be a wood and one cow. I'm gonna take the five steel or iron. Yep. That seems legit. Uh, next up is a fish and a clay. I have two foods. This is a five food round. There's eight fish here. I could just. This is my only turn this round. Rip the dream. Um... Yeah, sadly, I think I just need to take fish. No, don't do it, Fugless. I wanted <laughs> to take the fish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, wood and a coin. You know, um, wait, yeah, I mean, this, that's, yeah, you, I mean, that's a wasted action for me, probably, but. I guess let's get this show on the road. I will, uh, ba boom. Use the abattoir. Oh. Yep. How many cows are you slaughtering? Uh, we're going to leave, uh, I get for every half, so I guess I'm going to leave 13. No, that doesn't work right. Uh, 12. I guess I do 12 and leave 3. That okay. seems right. Yeah, so you'll get uh, 12 meat. No, don't flip them. They flip when you drop uh, them. Yeah, you're right. Or maybe. We'll just put them all there and then yeah. flip them. I'm getting there. Um, and then you'll get, what, 6 hides? Yeah. 1, 2, 3... That's seven somehow. There you go. Six Thank hides. you. There, just to make sure you they see it six. Yep. All right. Um, that's it. Uh, next up is Mike. Uh, Garrick, you a coin. Lily, you a coin. You still have a thing. Uh, Mike took something. Wood. No, he took oh. this. I yeah bought oh. the, the super there thing. You. Yeah, you're you building to, the business office. You need business to go to office. a building spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're at the clay mound, so there's the free one up here if you want. Yeah. Or you could pay one less yeah. wood at the sawmill. It's free. Yeah, the sawmill's also free. Can I pay less wood? I'll take a, take a free wood. So you have a clay. Oh, yeah, these are clay. Oh, I am disappointed in myself. And you only have three wood. Here's one wood discount. Uh, Lily is a fish and a grain. I don't know what I want to do. Why are all these breads? Uh, I got excess. I might as well. I will. Oof, they're going to build the steel mill. Rip. Rip I 22 points. Can't build the steel mill. Oh, I wish I could. I'll build the bridge. All right. Pretty solid. Um, all right. Uh, we all owe five food, and there's a harvest, so give yourself your stuff. We owe five food. I'll pay five fish. Uh, make sure you 
to give yourself your food discount yeah for ships. so i owe two i'll just pay with one meat and overpay yep. and be sad yep <laughs> i'm a uh, fish they're, they're gonna build the um when did i become a fish wait what Grumeister says i'm a fish oh, oh, oh. Uh, they build a steel mill and that's it and there's another iron ship available and the turn order will be me Garrick, mike <laughs> mike and lily coin and an iron we owe oh, seven fish this round wow that was a jump we went from five to seven gross Oof. I feel like I haven't done, got a good food engine, and it's, but let's let's just build. Let's go to the wharf, spend two of these fish, and build, and then spend four iron and a one coal to build this iron ship. Welcome to the club! Yay! Uh, that's it for me. So next up is Garrick with a wood and a clay. Um, I'm going to activate my tannery, mm -hmm. uh, convert my eight hides to nope, eight. Nope. nope. Four times. Four. I see the four. That is hard yeah, to see yeah. black on black. <laughs> but you will get $4. Yes. Uh, and I'm just going to use that to immediately pay off one of my loans. Smart. Because it costs five to do that, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, next up is Mike with a wood and a cattle. I'm gonna... Got nine wood again. Hmm. Now I have 14 wood, I think. No, he meant there's nine here. So you could have 23 wood if you would like so desire. I don't really have a way to move through wood in bulk. <laughs> uh, but instead, I'm gonna do the next best thing and turn five back in to get a wooden ship. Cause I'm I mean, pretty okay return i have a charcoal kiln over here <laughs> all right so you built another wooden ship you know three energy for that would you like to pay three wood or your coal oh three wood let's dump this wood all right all right next up is lily with a fish and a clay so yeah we have nine six fish nine wood seven clay Wait, did I screw up my last turn? I definitely did. Wow, how so? Because I'm about to need to pay interest and not have any money and take another loan. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Do you want to just take your money back? It's fine. Yeah, I didn't think through the timing of that properly. Yeah, uh... it's fine. <laughs> it's hilarious, though. <laughs> No, 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 no. You can still do all your thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just keep the, the loan. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oops, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that wrong. And I gave you your $5 back. That's all I did, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Brickworks. I'll take a food, please. I gave you money. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, so how, many, how much clay are you doing? Both. You only have two. Yep. Two. So you have, to, you have one energy and get $1. Scrap that wood, and I will grab a dollar. I add a coin and a wood. Um, hmm. I'm going to go to, oof, god dang it, stupid seven food, my ass. Um, At least you get two turns. <laughs> <laughs> Um, damn it! I know half my half my round is collecting food, and you don't want you definitely don't want that. Like Garrick probably doesn't need to worry about food ever again. See, this is why I took loans. Um, 
Yeah. Take the damn fish. I need to go smoke these bad boys. All right. Um, interest is owed by Garrick. Yep, I paid and, two bucks. Right, okay. No, you only owe one. It's one. It's for every minute. It doesn't matter how much loans you have. You you only owe a dollar. Oh, really? Pretty sure. Pretty sure what? Yeah. Oh, you're I, right. I might be wrong. No, at least, as long as you have at least one loan, pay one franc. Okay, okay. Um, wow, yeah, double down. Get all the loans. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. So wood and fish. Garrick, you're up. Um... Are they going to build again? Yep, apparently so. Oh, yeah, they built a shit ton at the end. I'll take the 13 wood. (laughs) Nice. Uh, Mike gets a fish and a grain. What would you like to do? I'm going to take my little worker and move to Mm -hmm. the fishery and get six fish out of that. And that's my turn. Smart. All right. Um, So we all owe seven fish. So you might as well, you could just, oh, you probably don't want to pay in single fish, though. So may minus your ships. So I have three. So I owe four fish. One, two, three, four. Oh shit! Next round, I actually do not have to go get collect food. Um, everybody's paid. We build another building. They're going to build the cokery, and this gets oh harvest time. Make sure you get a cow and a grain if you have them. Oh yeah, I have those things. And we are in round nine of twelve, so four rounds left. And it'll be Lily, then me, then Garrick, then Mike. Lily gets a coin and an iron. Seven iron? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. Um, I'm. Yeah. 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 A lot of times in this game, it's just like I don't need this necessarily, but I'll figure out something for it because it's too much. Uh, wood and a clay. All right, Why I get two turns. Four wood. Did I put? Oh, sometimes we. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to be careful because if they're stacked when you put them in here, then they get stacked when you pull them out. Ooh, that may have happened a few times. Ooh, I guarantee you that happened a few times. Oh, uh, that may be how. Why there's been so many a couple times. Well, we'll just be careful. Well, it's a learning game. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll just break the economy. It's no big deal. Yeah. No. Well, who do, we don't know who has benefited, but but yeah, it, that is one annoying TTS thing. It's definitely like, everyone but me win? benefited. I was <laughs> over. <laughs> it's like why when the man you... who took thirteen wood. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like so annoying. Why? Why can't? It, it should, there we should be a to, thing where you automatically to, put in the bags. This mod. Yeah, it's like when you put things into bags, it should automatically separate them. Yeah. Like, why would you ever want not to do that? Well, sometimes okay. it's good to have like nested like bags within bags and like Right. Uh, that's like a mod scripting thing, I think. Um, but yeah, it's probably happened at least once. Um I mean really I've tried to put th- I've tried to put things back in here singly though, so um Really this game should just have counters for each of these resources. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, all right, I get two turns, so I can do something a little more productive than get food. I was thinking about that the other day, like half of TTS things in a TTS mod could probably just be converted to, to counters, and yeah, like like the VP markers in route, just make them counters, just increment them up, like, like uh, yep, yep. all sorts of things. All right, where am I? Where's my, okay, I'm here. I'm going to go to her colliery, uh, oh, her two, two, two food, here's two fish I like fish and i will get i get three and i do have one hammer so i get four total and that is my turn uh next up is garrick gets one wood i will make sure these are not weird 
Yeah, I'll try to okay. pay attention to it from now on. I mean, um, when I put stuff, I've been trying to be in charge of putting stuff back and I make sure it's separated, but it's probably happened considering that there's a few times we're like, how is there so much wood there? Already? Yeah, it definitely <laughs> happened a few times, but it's no big deal. No. Um, speaking of that, though, I'm going to go to my charcoal kiln and I think just convert, you want to convert all, all of, of these. It? I don't, think, I don't think I have a reason for wood anymore. Um, yeah, true. There's only... Yeah, unless you want a wooden ship. I don't really yeah. know why I'd want wooden ships. I don't know. Am, I, I, being, think... am I being foolish? Would I want wooden ships? Meh. I mean, they're only four points each. Um, Going down to two. Would, is it, would it be good to get more so I can ship more things when I take shipping line? Is that well, yeah, the yeah, idea? Sure. Yeah, basically that's the idea. Hmm. Um, before we go on, the bank just is kind of a special building because it does it. You can't buy it for sixteen; it's just sixteen points. It costs forty to buy it, but that's because it increases your point values of all your buildings with these icons. Gotcha. So like Lily's would be like two, four, six, eight. She'd get ten bonus points basically if she builds. Those this, were but... the right icons, yes. <laughs> but to, to build it. Like, to, if you want to buy it, it costs a crap ton. You're not going to buy the bank, basically. Um, all right, so you do char charcoal kiln? Uh, yeah, hold on. I was just thinking if I really want to do all my wood, if I theoretically have a use for wooden oh, ships. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, you have 14. My thought was that it could solve all my energy problems forever. Uh, yeah, let me... <laughs> it just auto flips. I know. Two, three, but then it doesn't flip. Why? I know, I know. Let flip. me just do, I think, the four. That leaves rooms for two boats if I theoretically want them. All right. Uh, Mike, I put out your stuff. What do you want? He's going to go to his smokehouse, maybe? Yeah. I can't read upside down. Smokehouse. There it is. So it's you can do six fish for one energy. So one wood. Yeah, and I'm just going to cook all five of these into smoked fish and get two coins out of this. Yep. Verified. All right. Hey, what's the button to flip things? Uh, F. Nice. That made way too much sense. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lily gets a coin and a wood. And a ship. And a uh, ship. Yeah, so I'll do three energy and four iron, which you're turning into steel for some reason. Uh, so you're moving to the wharf? Yes. And uh, you'll have to owe two food or coins to the town for that. I forgot about this. Uh, Give them some bread. Yeah, they can have bread. That's lots of my bread, which is kind of annoying. But, I but want you will get an iron ship. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, Lily and Garrick owe a dollar. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm in not a good spot. I keep building. I keep just, like, going beyond my memes. <laughs> um. Man, remember, like, three rounds ago when I made tons of bricks and then decided not to? I still haven't done that. Um. I'm going to... I don't know if this is smart either. We owe nine food. Oh my god! Yeah, I can't. Pay. I cannot do nine food. <laughs> oh, I can't shit. do it. I'm gonna uh, rip. Bones. Rip. This is uh, guys. Only four fish there. That sucks. And he just used the smokehouse. So yeah, I guess all this. God, when half your turns are taking up gaining food, definitely fucking up. All right, I'll just get this damn fish. Um, Garrick fish and a grain um hmm. i have opinions about what i should do
Yeah, I'm going to take the six money and use it to instantly pay off my two loans. Nice. I'm jealous. <laughs> I love it. All right. The end of this round, there's no harvest, there's no building, but we all owe nine. So make sure you just subtract yeah. your I owe six fish. Oh, and I just did exactly what I told you all not to do. It's okay. Right after we talked about it, Lily went and put four iron in and I corrected it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, That's it's, okay. No, it's, yeah. All right. Uh, that is it. Uh, Mike will be first, then Lily, then me, then Garrick. And I didn't do this card yet. That's another iron ship. All right, round 10 of 12. Mike ten gets a coin. Oof, Todd. I have no, I have one fish. Rip. <laughs> so this business office will take three of anything or three advanced materials and turn it into steel? Uh, it's three anything. I'm pretty so sure. Let me let me just double check if there is building, uh, building things back here. Um, those are special buildings. Business office. The player can exchange any four goods, upgraded or not, for one steel. There you go. Oh, and you can't use money. And so, you can't use money. Yeah. All right, and then. That fifth material just gets you like a bonus. Stack. Yep. Yep. So yes. So you, you need so to go here you do the top thing for sure, and then you can do the bottom thing if you'd like. I think I'm gonna take nine clay. Alright. No reason. <laughs> Actually there's a harvest, so I'm gonna do Six grain. All right. Right, because they'll they'll make a grain. Grain. one grain per grain. Yeah, just one grain for the whole pile. If you have yeah. grain, oh, you for the grain. whole pile. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want it. Oh, I've definitely been doing that wrong. Uh, <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm still. I'm gonna stick with the clay then. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, next up is Lily with a wood. Mike, just yeah. as an FYI, if you grab, click it and hold it, it'll highlight the whole stack. Yeah, but then I do it by habit, and then I dump them back in the bank <laughs> as a stack and screw everything up. That's fair. Um, well. I got two money. Might as well. Oh, wait, that'll take me to a third bet. Maybe I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I do. I don't know. You know, fuck it. I'm already making terrible choices. Let's keep going. All right. So you're getting Garrick $2 to use his abattoir. I'm broke on food, and this is the best strat I can think, think so of. So four, you'll get two hides, too? Yeah. Right here. Oh, right. I already had two. That's annoying. Yeah, you start the game with two. All right, uh, next up is me with a wood and a cattle. Uh, I get two turns this round. I need to come up with six food or just build a... Do I even have enough wood? I don't even have enough wood to build a ship. Fuck. Um, well, this is, this is, this is trouble. I could take the grain and then use her bakehouse, assuming she doesn't use it. If she does, then, well, let's just take the grain and we'll adjust accordingly, depending on what she does. Uh, next up is Garrick with a fish and a clay. Um... What round are we in? 
We are in 10 of 12, so we have this round and two more. So we... Oh all right, so I need to pay off... Five turns left. I need to pay off 32 more food. Uh, do, 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 32... Let's God, see. when you say it like that, it sounds like so much. Uh, minus nine, so I have to pay off 23. Get another boat. So moving another six. Okay, I'm good to spend one. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to the wharf, uh, pay the city a meat uh, so that I can build a wooden ship. I had to do the math and make sure I was not, I was still set for food if I paid some food, and I am. So. All right, so then you owe five wood and three energy. Uh, I'll spend the charcoal for the energy all right all right that's my turn nice job uh mike gets a wood and a coin all right i'm gonna go over here to the business office where we do business things for our business all right and you're right. going to give up five clay for steel and something else yes yeah, steel and a Hide, I think, is the highest coin value resource on that choice. Uh, yeah, it's a leather, actually. So yeah, it's four. It's worth yeah, four. one steel and one leather. There you go. There's your leather, and there's your steel. Thanks. All right. Uh, Lily, you get another loan, I, unfortunately. I do. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> I am an idiot, and I love every part of it. That's not the right one. One, two, three. Uh, oh god, I'm in such a bad spot and I hate everything about it. <laughs> Alright, uh, I put out the other stuff. Wooden a fish. Um, Why is everything so hard? <laughs> Why did I make such poor decisions? Yeah, I think Garrick is in the strongest position. Hey, there's that. Um. Oh, I, keep... I figured it out. All right. Tannery is free. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so I'll do these four hide. Yep, for four money. Yeah, this is this is the right decision. Free is always good. Panicked. All right, one fish and one grain. I will go to your bakehouse. Here's a can fish. I have a fish, please. Yes, you can. And I will do all six of the bread for three energy. Uh, oh, thank you. And get three coins. All right, that is the end of the round. We owe. Well, do your harvest things if you have harvest things. Oh yeah, harvest. And things. then we then we owe ten fish. Sorry, ten fish. We owe ten food. <laughs> So I owe seven, so that's three bread and a coin. Jeez, that bread's already all gone. Yeah, I two meat and a fish. Gross. God, I did not prepare. I, I took for granted in a four-player game how little it starts off and forgetting how painful the end of the game could be. Despite warning all of us several times at the beginning of the game. I know, I, including <laughs> myself, and I still have like not I know, like build a food engine and build a food engine, and then I'm just like, fuck it, let's build the ironworks and all this crazy <laughs> shit. All right. Um Garrick is so this is we have two more rounds. So Garrick is first with a coin and an iron, and we owe eleven food. Um I have six food. Okay, so I have Enough almost for this round.
I've wanted to ship things like two rounds in a row, and it's, it's just not happening. I know the feeling. <laughs> hey, Zod. I said that ages ago. I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. I was <laughs> too busy panicking in my own brain. <laughs> for in-game scoring. I love how it's so, uh, like, old-timey. <laughs> that's just the one in the components thing that's free. Um... Uh, let's say if you highlight over the stack, it says how much is there. So I'm really just remembering and checking as necessary. Um... I'm going to go to your ironworks, Fugless. Yes. Give me stuff. Yeah, you can have... Three food. A Give dollar. A oh, boo. I want a <laughs> cow. Give me meat. <laughs> no cow for you. <laughs> All right, uh, so you get um, three iron, or and you can spend six energy to get a fourth iron. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the the six. All right, some couple charcoals. Yeah, to get four irons. Oop, oop, nope, nope, that didn't work either. What happened to the iron bag? Oh, it's another one. All right, could you pull out that one that's underneath it? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I was trying to get that, and it was being a joik. Grumpy. Uh, Mike gets a wood and a clay. What would you like to do? He's going to the oh, free I do the fish thing, man. Yep, and you get six fish, I think. Yep. And you can just leave those aside for no reason. <laughs> All right, next up is Lily. Oh, I'm the only one that I get the one turn this round. Shit. One I get wood. the one turn next round, so I'm not in a Oof. hot spot. And a cow. Uh, that means we all, all of us have like three more turns. That's it. Yeah. Oof. Oh, she's building. You owe two food. Yeah, I'll overpay, but I think I need to. All right. Um, and building an iron ship. One, four iron, two, three energy. Four. 
All right, next up is me, one fish and one clay. So this is my only turn this round, and I have um I have twelve food. So I do I can pay this round. And I'll get two turns next round to come up with Ugh. how much is a steel ship? Oh steel ship's only two. Alright, let's do it. I will go to the where am I? I'll go to the steel mill. I owe them two coins. I will turn my two iron into two steel at a cost of 10 energy. So I'll pay three coal and one wood. And that is my turn. Garrick gets a coin and a wood. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone's going to ship. I mean, it is a short game, so it's probably one of the reasons why it's. I mean, I don't, I'm not good enough at this game to ship that often, but. I'm going to do the tannery, convert these four to leather. Cool. I uh, get four francs for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lily, you owe a dollar. Yep. <laughs> ah, so funny. And a wooden a fish. Oh, it's not Lily. Oh, you owe a dollar. It's not your turn. Yeah, yeah it's Mike's okay. turn. Sorry, but you owe a dollar. Like I, I confused myself. Up, oh, he's smoking fish again. Yeah, in a in a move that surprises nobody, I'm gonna turn these six fish into six smoked fish for the low yep. price of one lost uh, energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So ends my and turn. And get three dollars too. Don't forget oh, yeah. three dollars. Give me my three dollars. Um. Lily gets a fish and a grain. And your last turn of the round is. Can I just like sit here and cry? Is that a is that a action? Uh, let's go here. So you're I'll gonna get some uh, or coal. Yep. All right. Uh, harvest people, do your harvests, and then pay eleven food minus your ships. So. I owe. Oh shit, I am out of food actually. I thought these were three each. Oh shit. Um, that's six, nine. Well, I can pay two coins. Rip. Oof. All right. Uh, luxury liner comes out. Luxury liner is. Um, cannot be bought and it costs three steel all right uh first up is me then garrick then mike lily coin and an iron well i'm going to go to the wharf which i can't do oh my god i totally fucked this up <laughs> Shit. Ba 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 ba. Well, where was I? Ironworks. Um, no, I wasn't. I was at steel mill. Um, okay. That's that's bad. Um. Yeah, let's just take the seven fish. 
Garrick, one wood, and one clay. Where would you like to go? This uh -oh. is the last round, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. Then we'll have the final round afterward for one mm -hmm. action, right? Mm hmm. Wait, what's the final? So at the end of the very end of the game, we all get one more action, which could be, which is usually going to be a building action because taking goods is gotcha. one, it's illegal, and you can't take the Franks either. So yeah, you cannot take anything from the board, but you just do one more building action essentially, but you can't do the same one you're at. So if you want to do, um, like, so if you want to do shipping lane as your last action, you need to not be at the shipping lane. But it doesn't matter how, if anyone's there; you can still get to do it. It kind of a, it's more. I mean, in in our game, we're probably going to be shipping most of the time. But in a game that has the special buildings, a lot of these buildings can give you decent points for some of the shit you have. So you might want to do that. But for the most part, we're probably going to ship. But remember, you need three energy per ship. So don't forget that either. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and ship. I think it's time to, I think it's time to cash out my engine. Do it once, right. then go somewhere else, and then do it final turn. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes nice. sense. Smart. All right, so you can ship two items on the wooden ship and three goods on the iron ship. So you're just going to sh ship a shit ton of leather. Yep. Uh, you do owe three energy. Uh, six, isn't it? Because three per ship? Yeah, well, I meant per ship, yeah. So one coal, one... Yep, everything's perfect. So you get five times four. You get 20 bucks. Look at Garrick, king of euros. There's fives up here, you heathen. <laughs> Fine. You just want to make it rain with... Uh, yeah, I want to make y'all jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you succeeded. Would you, like to, would you like to buy any buildings? Because you could buy if you wanted to. Uh, I don't think I'd be making... Would I, I wouldn't be making a profit on anything right now, would I? I don't think I so. I mean, you won't make a profit, but you could buy like the wharf thinking if someone's going to build a ship, they'd have to pay you two food to use it. I mean, that's just... Uh, you make a point. Because that's a flat investment. Wouldn't I'd be paying 14 and it'd still be worth 14, right? Exactly. So, like, you're benefiting from the usage. So, like, it wouldn't benefit you to buy the sawmill because that's free. But it might, you know, if you think someone's going to get Coke, then you could pay this 18 and hope someone gives you another dollar what a cute uh illusion of interactivity <laughs> um it's a euro what do you expect well what yeah i guess i'll buy the wharf so you have to pay me two food Foglas. yeah you know where i'm going so now yeah yeah now you got to use all these ones to spend 18 uh, just get some five, 14 like you a mean normal person yeah, 14. You can just get fives like a normal person. <laughs> All right, while well, he's counting out his riches, Mike, you get a wood and a cow. You did it. All right, and I'm going to go to my business office and trade five clay to somebody who really likes clay. Mm hmm. Or a steel. One steel and one hide. Sorry, one leather. My bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lily, fish, and a clay. Mike, how did you get six leather? Uh, I didn't. I should only have two. Cool. Uh, uh, was there a stack in there? That may have been. I'm gonna bake some bread. Let me see what I have. I and you'll get 
free coin. Yep. So I didn't realize that was in game. I was like, wow, Lily must really be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would take baked bread. I like bacon bread. It's great. All right, the All question right. is, what is, because my last action's going to be shitty, because I don't have enough energy. I've got to summon Bill. Oh, if Mike builds a steel ship before I do, I'm in trouble. Oh, but he doesn't get another action, but it does go in turn order. So he will get. Wait, hold on. What is the last action? Did it say start with the first player? I don't know. I mean, I'm probably going to make it irrelevant, but. Starting player begins. I'm not sure what that means. Like, does that mean the very first start player? Does that mean who would be the current start player? I don't know. Um, oh, that would I be mean, Lily, anyways. It would be Lily, anyway. So yeah. Hey, look at that. So it, okay. So I would get to go before Mike. So it, so he's not going to be able to build this. Oh, he is going to have a chance to build it. Shit. <laughs> um. I guess I have to bite the bullet and just do it because I'd rather take this money and then still build it on the free turn. But I don't think I can take the chance that he builds that from under me. Then I have absolutely nothing. Um, all right, so I'll go to this jerk's wharf. <laughs> pay, you, pay you two fish. All right, thank you. Here's your two fish. I accept money. I will, I will spend this coal <laughs> and these two steel to build the steel ship. Problem is, what sucks is I don't have I don't have I don't have any energy, so we are not shipping, unfortunately. Um, that is my entire turn, Garrick. Uh, Lily, pay a dollar. Okay. Um. Your last turn. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I won't keep this up forever. I'll just go ahead and um, get some energy. Yeah. Last ship action. Yeah, because I'm going to be one short otherwise. Yeah, hey, thank you. I was about to get it. All right. Uh, Mike, you're the last turn of the game. One fish, one grain. You're just taking the wood. Yeah, I'm taking the low energy density to fuel these stupid wooden ships, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we all owe 11 food minus your ships. So figure out whatever that is. I owe three fish. And then starting with Lily, and then me, and then Garrick, and then Mike last. Lily, you get one more action uh, with your worker. Shipping! It, yep, we just can't be the bakehouse. All right, so you have two ships. So for six energy, you could ship six goods. I and you do have... Energy. Perfect. So, which two goods are you, or which six goods are you shipping? One, two, three, four. Two more. Uh, the rest of the coal. Hmm. All right. So you get uh, six plus sixteen, twenty-two bucks. And we'll just throw all this shit over here. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, next up is me. Well, I'm not going to do such a cool final turn because I don't have any energy. I have th two wood, rip. Um, so I could make some bricks for like $2. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's 
Oh, I could go to your tannery. It's free. That's two dollars. Oh, are these pieces worth money at the end? No, nothing. Okay, okay, nothing okay. is worth money. I'm getting two dollars only because of like the the buildings that give money. I understand. Do some conversions. Oh, I could go to uh, the bridge thing and just turn on. Oh, I owe you two coins to do it, and I don't have two coins, so I can't do that. Um, Looks like you have one. <laughs> I know I would need two though. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just go to your tannery and convert these two to leather for two dollars. As a as a strong final move. All right, I will ship. Uh, there's my six energy. We'll hmm. ship three leather and uh, I don't know a charcoal. So that's going to be right. uh, 15, 14. fourteen. Yeah. And then, Mike, what do you want to do as your last turn? Ship? Uh, I, too, will ship. All right. So with my two wooden ships, I'm going to send off two steel and two hides that don't stay as hides for a total of 20 coin. Mm -hmm. And I'll take it as fives, because math is hard. Math is oh, hard. Oh, wait. No, no, no. These are leather, because you got them from the... Um... So it's not 20, it's... a. Uh... 24 actually. Oh, nice. Okay. Math is hard. <laughs> all right, Lily, do you want to pay back your? Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so everyone just add up the money you have left and the value, point value of all your buildings on your little calculator and see how you did and how poorly I did. So I'll say it after if we finish. Why is this calculator not working worth a shit? That's why I use my phone. Yeah. Like when I hit plus, it just erases the value. What the fuck? All right, just add up your points and write it in front of you. Because <laughs> these calculators are broken. Uh, you have to hit equals. Oh, really? I think so. 20 plus 6 20 plus 6 equals 109 okay i don't know what's going on i was going to just use my phone oof i did really really bad <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> oh garrick you only did 83 okay that oh, feels bad yeah my building i didn't have a ton of buildings and they weren't amazing or anything I have seven. I I was like one round off from buying another ship or, or being able to ship more leather or something. I, I wasn't as efficient as I needed to be. Lily, eighty seven with all and even had all those loans. Not sure how that happened. <laughs> Wait on Mike, what did you get? Yeah, 74. So somehow really, still... you did it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count my game as a teaching game. <laughs> it was. <laughs> 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 so yeah, Lily got it with 87. Wow. The cows failed me. <laughs> I mean, you did. I mean, it's, it was close. Um... So yeah, I, I think the, the the cool the one of the cool elements is the special buildings. So like, you know, they just do a bunch of weird stuff, like the Schnapps Distillery. You can turn bread into money. So like, yeah, the marketplace becomes more interesting because you can see what's coming, so you can kind of plan ahead. Um, oh, the labor like exchange. Lodge. Ooh, two just fish icons. Hide and meat. <laughs> yep, just get hide and meat. So yeah, there's a huge stack of these steakhouse. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's some that have a little more game effects, like you can use like anyone building that someone's already in, that kind of stuff. But yeah. But thanks for trying. Would, definitely love to play this again with Good. the uh, the special buildings. In yeah, the yeah. Game. yeah, 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 for sure. Now, yeah, now that we don't have to do the teach, it'll be it'll go a lot quicker. Yeah, I mean, even then we played in you know two and a half hours. 
Yeah, but a full okay. game would have been uh, would have been eight more rounds. So just a heads up. <laughs> okay. But the earlier rounds, the earlier rounds would probably go faster though, because the early runs rounds went slow because we actually had resources to do things. But the first two rounds, you literally have nothing practically because you're just grabbing the like two wood that's here because you have none. So yeah, the first few rounds, you're not doing a whole lot. Um, but even in round, but the food ramps up slower because you see this is the the top number here is the long game round. So even in the long game round, you still only owe 11 at the end of the game. So it's just this the short game actually ramps the food up faster. That makes uh, sense. Yeah, because you're giving more stuff at the beginning. So. Yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. So yeah, we'll give it a try. Uh, we'll, we, sh we should continue playing some Rosenberg games. And... <laughs> I, think, I think that's going to be our Monday thing, because I, yeah, just... I will play Rosenberg till I die. So <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to have another crack at Feast for Odin, that's for sure. Yeah, Feast for Odin's pretty good. It's, uh, you know, I'm not super hot in Euros, but I'll play no, Feast Roden sometimes. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we'll drag you there next time. Yeah, Erzad, I need to get played Agricola again. I've only played it once several years ago, uh, and it wasn't even the full game. It was the basic game without the cards. So, like, I'm very much overdue for a revisit. Yeah. I will also point out with that Agrico play, we started at like 11 o'clock at night, and I was already very grumpy. So, I made <laughs> it a terrible experience for me and him. This is, two of us. This is and I actively worked. just became a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was telling I was telling her last time we when we played Feast Pro when we were talking about trying more Rosenberg games. Um and she said she'd never done Caverna. And Caverna is just basically Agricola just there's, changed up a little bit. There's no way I'm um, gonna like Caverna. <laughs> well, I think you might Caverna if you play it with the um like the base game of Caverna, I didn't like. I liked it like the first maybe twice I played, but then you realize it's there's nothing, there's no variability, so everyone just kind of does the same strategies every time. But they released an expansion where they have a bunch of basically asymmetrical player powers. So like instead of dwarves, you're the trolls, and like you can be fed, you can eat stone instead of food for the during the feeding round and and then a couple more variability so like it at least makes it more interesting because you have to do different things to instead of the same exact strategies plus like it adds each race adds new buildings so the buildings are different every game so that would be worth i think you would at least like that better if you ever tried it but yeah i can I mean, so I'm open to trying it furniture. once. Yeah, I yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When I'm told it's the biggest, most sandboxy friendly Rosenberg, I'm like, ah, the things I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> Gar if Not... the game is nice, Garrick doesn't want to play it. Oh, uh, it has to have mean things in it. I, uh, I'm not happy unless things. I'm miserable. That's what I always say. <laughs> and then making, making everyone else miserable. Oh, right. Misery loves company. It goes hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all are funny. Well, I'll make you try it once at least on on Rosenberg Mondays now. That's not catchy enough. That can't be the name. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna have to come up with a cool something. Oh goodness. Mondays does sound better. Um. All right. Let me shut down the stream. Hmm. Uh. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh. We will clearly be back with a Euro next it's, week. It's hilarious how low scoring this is in a four player short game. Like my high score is. Um, I'm just going to turn him down. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you like what we're doing, like, comment, and subscribe. We uh, have train games tomorrow, worthy games Wednesday, our usual schedule. Looks like we're trying for another uh, Stationfall game this Saturday, so maybe keep an eye out for that. Uh, but otherwise, uh, have a good evening. Thanks for watching. <laughs>